What's up everyone, Phil Sinovitz here with a kind of special episode we're doing today on both of our channels here. Right now I have Duncan33303 with me, aka Austin Evans. How are you doing today? Doing great, doing great. Ready to film this for the second time. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we had a little bit of interruption the first time we filmed this video, something about aliens coming and stuff like that. But what are we here something to do? Like that. We're going we... to be talking about the next generation iPhone, which is supposedly rumored to possibly come out in the next week, month, something. <laughs> now, it, now, it is scheduled to be announced on the yes. 4th of October. We did hear that yesterday with the Let's Talk iPhone thing the invitation that was sent to the loop it was was the loop the only place that got it sent to them i or? have no idea i don't well, I'm know sure, i'm sure they sent it to everybody who you know all the major places who were going but i don't know <laughs> well <Not> we'll <laughs> see i i honestly can't wait for october 4th there's been there's been a little bit of hype like built up upon this new device that's coming out this year i really think that the major thing will be once lte is settled down oh, yeah. with at&t and everything and I, you know, there's a lot of rumors going around that there's going to be two devices. There's going to be the 4S and the iPhone 5. The 4S being the lower end iPhone, and the iPhone 5 being like for the hardcore fans that hardcore. actually want it and everything. <laughs> the bigger screen, the A5 processor, the teardrop design, like you said. Now, let's speculate a little bit on that. What what is the difference between the iPhone 4S and the iPhone 5, other than the price range? All right. Well, so. What, well, the way the rumors go is that there's going to be an iPhone 4S. The basic, what it basically is, is an iPhone 4. Uh, now there may be a couple of tweak designs. I heard something maybe possibly like they might redo the antenna a little bit. But for the most part, the major changes would be it would have a new 8 megapixel camera, um, which of course you know the camera on the iPhone 4 is not that bad. But they would improve that and they would put the Apple Apple A5 chip from the iPad 2. Now that's what the 4S is all about what we heard. It's going to be very, very similar, kind of like a 3G to 3GS, you know, the iPhone 4 to the 4S. Now, sure. on the other hand, we've heard about the iPhone 5 or, you know, the Big Daddy, whatever you want to call it, but the major update. And what this one's all about is it brings the same camera and brings the same Apple A5 dual core processor, but it also adds a bigger display of 3.7 or maybe even 4 inches and also a kind of teardrop design or, you know, tapered uh, with you know, probably made out of aluminum, kind of like a iPhone version of the MacBook Air. So that's mostly what we've heard, and there's been plenty of talk back and forth about there's going to be an iPhone 4S, there's going to be an iPhone 5, there's going to be both, there's going to be this, there's going to be that. Uh, so yeah, that's what we're here to talk about, I guess. <laughs> now, now, judging from what you just told me, that, that doesn't seem like a big selling point for Apple. I mean, they they put make, make the screen a little bit bigger, they change the design, but do you think really people are going to go for that? Do you think just because it's the same, that would mean it would have the same specs as the 4S, except with a bigger screen and just a redesign? Do you really think people care that much about like a tiny bit of change in the screen and a different design does it really that matter that much i remember hearing things about people calling it the iphone pro that was a while ago so i got an alarm going enough more distractions at least we're not gonna we're not, we're gonna, not gonna refilm the, we're not gonna stop <laughs> but i mean do you really think that that's gonna be something that people will actually want compared like compared to a macbook pro to a regular macbook which is now discontinued because of the errors and stuff but do you think that Apple can actually sell that? Well, I think it's going to come down to price. A lot of the rumors about the 4S is that it's going to be a lot cheaper. Now, of course, the iPhones have always been like $200 on contract. But, of course, you're on a contract and, you know, there's a subsidy and everything. And the phone, real price of the phone is usually somewhere in the six, dollars $700 price range or so. Now, of course, I, I expect if the iPhone 5 is real and it's going to be coming and everything, that it'll be, you know, about the same price, maybe a little bit cheaper, more expensive, but roughly about the same price. Now, what, what the really big thing about the 4S, if it's real and if it, they're, they're really serious about it, is going after the lower-priced market. So... Of course, the iPhone has done tremendously well against Android and everything else with just the single very expensive phone, you know, all things considered. With an iPhone 4S, if they could get it much cheaper, so something in the range of, you know, $3, $350, $400 off contract, which of course, you know, about half the price. And of course, if it was on contract, it could be as little as, you know, $50 or perhaps even free on contract. Um, I think that would go a long way not to really take sales away from the iPhone 5. I mean, I still think that if you have 
the money to upgrade to iPhone 5, you're going to want the best. You want the screen and the better design and everything. But I think I think what the 4S is really about is going after the lower end market and where Android is really just, I mean, there's just nothing. Apple just doesn't have anything there. So if the 4S is real and that's what it's all about, I think that's really, they would have to aim at that lower price point to get, you know, the, the different kind of market. So you think with the 4S, they're going for a more marketing standpoint of it being unlocked for everyone? You think they're going to be selling it as an unlocked phone or still on AT&T as a subsidized contract thing? I think it'd be a mixture. I think they would have – well, there's a, of course, there's a uh, unlocked version of the iPhone 4 you can buy right now. Not many yeah. people really buy it. Um, I think they would just – they would probably do both. You know, they would probably have it on several carriers. They may even have it, you know, on Sprint and Verizon, and AT&T. I mean, they. I don't. I don't see any reason why they couldn't do that and still have a pretty nice emphasis on. Hey, you know what? You can sign a two-year contract and get this thing for fifty bucks or free or a hundred dollars or you know whatever they end up deciding. Or if you want to pay three or four hundred dollars, whatever, you can just get it and forget the contract and you know put it on different carriers. Especially if it has the uh, chipset where you can actually go GSM, CDMA, so you can you know hop between whatever carriers you want. I think it could be a really attractive option. So yeah, I think. They would just, you know, do whatever they, um, you know, just kind of market it, you know, however they wanted with everything. <laughs> sure. Well, I am still sticking on my side. Uh, and if you saw the new post today on Nine to Five Mac, they had a post mm-hmm. today showing some sort of um, internal files from AT and T, or was it? What was it? Something from their marketplace or something from Apple's marketplace showing that there's oh, yeah. going to be three different iPhone models and three, no, two new iPhone models and three new iPod touch models. But uh, they said something that it was leaning more towards being a 4S than two different iPhone models, Mm -hmm. like the 4S only. Yeah. You know, I, I will tell you this. Apple's done such a good job with the rumors and the this and the that that I honestly... Well, I think everyone will pretty much be surprised whatever they do because there are a lot of people who definitely think there's the iPhone 5. There's a lot of people who definitely think it's the 4S. There's a lot of people who definitely think that they're both. I don't think one person knows – well, I, I think very, very few people know absolutely for sure what Apple's going to do. Um, personally, I'm leaning on the side of the iPhone 5, just the iPhone 5. Uh, but to be honest, if it's just the 4S or if it's both, I really would be surprised. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's I, I really don't know, but I, I'm leaning towards the 5. I, I, that, that's just why I've, I've got to say that. <laughs> so I guess we're going to have to wait until October 4th until we actually know what's going on because like you said, Apple likes to keep their secrecy. Not too many people know about what the next device is going to be, how many there's going to be, things like that. All we've really seen is rumors. There's no actual like solid evidence that any of this is going to come out. We've seen parts, things like that. Those are interesting and all of that. And they give us kind of like a tease towards what's coming out next. But um, I, I, I just really don't know. I don't know what to say if there's going to be one or two devices mm-hmm. at this point. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, I, like, like I was going to say, it's just so hard. They've done such a good job of, like, confusing us. And there's so much, like, evidence. Like, there's evidence of everything. Like, it's not – I mean, I don't think anyone – I mean, if I decide, hey, I'm going to decide – us. I can show you 50 things of evidence. Like, yeah, there's this part, there's this leak, there's this case, there's this, that, that. And it's on all these sides. So, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I think that we have three features that are going to be for sure. Like, at least three new pieces of, or three pieces of hardware that are going to be for sure. Which is the A5 processor, the 1 gig of RAM, and the 8 megapixel camera on the back. I think that's what we can know for sure. I don't think we're going to be able to know if there's going to be a redesign or not, if there's going to be two phones or one phone. Once again, there goes my alarm. (laughs) But we will find out on October 4th, and that's only in a few days, so I really just can't wait for that. So everyone watching, how did you guys like this little collab that we have here talking about the iPhone 4S and the iPhone 5 scuttlebutt? Leave that in the comment section below. We would love to hear what you guys have to say. Of course, thank you to Austin Evans for joining me on this show. You can find him where? Uh, down below. I was trying to – did you see what I was doing I there? Was, I was trying to I like could, magneto, magneto your brain magneto? there. Magneto? I was magnetoing your brain. It didn't work, Try, but – Trying to get the information out. I just guessed. That's... Sorry, but I, I believe I believe our Twitter usernames and our YouTube links are going to be somewhere like there in places. You'll be Pla- able to find them on the things. screen. Yes. Sure. <laughs> so, guys, once again, thank you for joining us. Thank you for watching. I'm sure you have something to say as well. Yeah, okay. and just be sure to subscribe to us if you're 
Subscribe oh, is that is that what's most important? That's all I've got to say, man. Subscribe. It's it's, it's important. It's it, it, things and stuff. No, of course we love all of you watching. We would love for you guys to check out our content. Of course, visit both channels. If you're watching this on Austin's channel, visit my channel. If you're watching this on my channel, visit Austin's channel. We both have awesome content. He covers a lot of tech stuff. I cover a lot of iOS stuff. He also covers iOS stuff. But I'm more. <laughs> we covered all. We cover it we, all. We cover everything in the universe. So and we do it live. Can't lying, go wrong, right? We can't go wrong. And we do it. We can't we, go wrong. We can't go wrong. Anyway, this has been so, a five minute outro. So let's. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna let you guys go. I'm sure you guys have dogs to walk and people to murder. So oh, we're gonna go ahead and let you guys go. <laughs> See you all later. Thank you for joining us once again. Duncan three 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 o three on YouTube and iCryptic on YouTube or simply iOSvlog.com. See you yes. later. You see that product placement. See you, you later. It. You got it. Peace out. <laughs> later, guys.